Derek, can we start with um, Saturday's performance there? It was a, a real resilient dig out from 2-0 from, from down. How pleased are you with that resilience uh, with the 2-0 draw full time? Yeah, I think you always remember how the game ends. Um, you know, I could have been more pleased with the, the performance second half and the effort showing and the, the spirit showing. Obviously disappointed um, with some aspects. You can go behind. The goal's a bit scrappy. The first one comes in off the post. It's part of the second phase from a set play. Um, but our general performance first half was a bit bitty. I thought their pace spooked us a wee bitty at times, um, Hibs. And you're up against a team who have invested quite heavily. You, Ian and Boyle, um, Dodge and Venti as a front four effectively causes some issues. But I think by and large we, we showed um, real character. I thought we showed the strength of us second half. Um, really pleased with the response for the players. Um, disappointed in the end up potentially not to get something for the game. But when you're 2-0 down with so little time left, you've got to... Um, focus on the positives to be honest so you know Hibs are uh, I think Hibs will improve um, I think they've got a good level of player um, at their club so uh, we knew you know I was going to get it all your own way even know how strong we are at home so you know we've picked up some points now against um, obviously Rangers Hearts and Hibs this season already but performances in the other two games have been more than decent I think to get as a point um, but we've got to try and show that we can be good enough to, to get a winning performance in that type of game. Um, and that's the challenge going forward. The second goal kills us because effectively it was such a poor goal for us to lose and unlike us being, not being quite set from a throw-in. Um, so we try to pride ourselves on that organisation and we gifted them a feel an opportunity. Um, and in doing so, we made that give ourselves a mountain to climb to win the game. But um, brilliant from the players to, it's not, it doesn't surprise me they've been different class in that sense yet um, to get something from a game that we um, we worked extremely hard on and almost almost a winner for Robbie Dees at the end there in the last minute yeah, it felt a ran guy that one that one um, Robbie was obviously pushed on and you know it's just the biggest surprise from that is Matty doesn't take the shot on but it's actually a really good disguised pass um, and uh, Robbie probably just get a wee bit excited at that moment. He just had to fire it across goal side and cross the goalkeeper, and we probably have an opportunity to go and win it. Um, that said, that would have been really harsh on Hibs, you know what I mean? But would have, obviously it was a, a real opportunity. And that's now I think eight goal scorers in ten competitive games. How pleased are you that you've got goals coming from all over the pitch? Stuart Finlay, Joe Wright, as well as your forwards. Yeah, I think it's important that we have that threat at set plays and open play. We, um, obviously, we're forward players have scored goals. You know, Beginner scores a couple through the League Cup campaign. We bring Andy Dallas, we try to get him up to speed because you feel that he has a natural game as being around the um, the frame of the goal. Um, Vasquez gets another goal last week and, and, uh, and obviously um, Mali's had a couple already this season as well. So. Um, we still like to get more, still like to get more goals from midfield, um, but the contribution has been there from everybody in terms of what points we've had and I think it's important we try and have you know as many as we can towards double figures because that will make a difference for us this season. And you mentioned Cal Vassell that it seemed like a real captain's performance from him on Saturday. How pleased have you been with him since you've made him the club captain? I've been pleased with him since the moment he walked in the door to be honest. Um, he felt like a natural fit to be the captain because I can see the regard he's held by his teammates and myself and the staff, um, you know, he dragged us back into it. He wasn't alone, obviously, last week, and we're still trying to get him up to speed. I almost felt as if his season was starting last week. I know he scored against them firm in the League Cup and he said wee bits and pieces, but he's a lot to contend with, with little knocks and injuries, and the birth of his son um, and prior to the Ross County game. So it really felt like that was his season starting proper last week, and he gets a goal, and we're we're going to have to keep him playing to get him um, that proper match fitness and that real sharpness that he's craving for. But he's certainly uh, able to contribute while he's working towards that. And looking forward to this weekend, what kind of challenge are you expecting from Dundee? Um, well, I think what has to be said, I think they've put together a really strong squad. I think uh, Doc's been really well backed, um, which is, is great to see. I think as a newly promoted team, there's some good players already in the building, particularly a lot of younger ones. Um, so I think they've added um, plenty of numbers, I think 15, 16 players. Um, I've managed to see them in the flesh um, and I think they've got a bit of written really, a bit of size, a bit of experience, um, and good creativity and obviously try to get, as every day is, try to get more goals into the team, you know, and sometimes that can be the difference. But I think for a newly promoted team, they've got, they're in a good place at the minute. And how impressed have you been with the job that Tony Dockery's done so far? Yeah, I think it's early on, but I always think, I think for Doc it was a, such a good opportunity. You know, I think 
there's a lot of things going for it. The fact that he lives in Dundee um, was a big tick in the box, you know, and I think being up there, um, particularly when it's going well, it's, it can be good for him. And being around the family, I think the, the second part of it is he's inherited a, a newly promoted team, which when you get your first job or any job as a manager, normally a grin because there's problems and there's issues. Um, so I think that's got to be said, you know, you're getting the club in a really good way, you've got the feel-good factor, you've got the buy-in for the fans right away as well, and you try to keep that bubbling along. Um, and I think he's been really backed really well, which is it pleases me because obviously Doc's a close friend and you want to make sure that he's getting looked after, and I think John and the board of Dundee have really kind of tried to help him and put together a strong squad. So, And I think that's been the case. I know from speaking to Doc, he's been really pleased with the level of support he's had. So. You know, I think um, with all that said, you know, we're still well on in the season, but I think the signs are there that they can have a, a strong campaign. And I think he described it as it's going to be quite a strange feeling for him being the opposite dugout from you after 15 years, I think it was, he was with you. Is it the same for you? Will that be an odd feeling for you? I don't know if it's strange. You know, I think football throws these things up. You know, you go back to clubs, you, work, you go back to work with people you've worked with. Close. Doc was a brilliant member of staff for me, you know, I need to say that he's such a good boy and... You know, my time when I asked him to be my assistant at St Johnston when I got the job, you know, I fought hard to get him. Uh, he was taking the use in the reserves at Dundee United at the time under Big Craig and fought hard to get him because obviously I had the benefit of being a player at Dundee United and I, and I liked how he worked. Um, and it was one of my better decisions getting him on board. You know, we worked really well together for such a long period of time. So, um, and you don't go through all that. I think I know him probably better than anybody. Um, and we go through all the, um, as a member of staff, we go through everything together, so, um, no, I don't know if it's strange, you know what I mean, but certainly know the norm, but it'll be, uh, it's just a job, it's, it's about command against Dundee, it's not really about anything else, it's hopefully, I expect a tough game because, you know, I know they'll be well organised, I know they've got good players and it's away from home and we've got to go and show a, a level of performance to, to, to win the game. And does anything change for you in the build up to a game like this when you're against the manager who knows you and your tactics and your game plan so well? Uh, no, I think it's like I say. I think we all can have an idea of what. Um, there'll not be many surprises from from him or me. You know what I mean? I think it's again when you go and watch teams. I know sometimes at this early on in the season, there's a lot of new players bending in for a lot of clubs. Um, you maybe have to look a wee bit harder to see exactly what teams are trying to do. Um, like last week, we're playing against him with a new manager. All that work, scouting work, really before it, you're not really sure how the new manager works. Um, but I think. But even by this stage in the season, even it's early on, you, you, we've all got an idea of how teams want to set up and how, what they're trying to do. So um, it doesn't really matter really how you know the person um, a lot better. It's more about how their, their team's set up, to be honest. I know you'll hate me for bringing this up, and I'm sorry, but the away season, the away record last season um, managed to put it to bed in April. How important is it to make sure you get that away early this season against Dundee? Yeah, no, absolutely. It's, it's fair comment. You know, I feel, you know, Towards the back end of last season, we were getting well on our way to um, suggesting that we can win away from home and we won a couple of really key games in the running. Um, so we've then come back into the League Cup section, we've won away from home in the League Cup section at Dunfermline and, uh, and Albion Overs. And we've put in, I think, a couple of strong performances, you know, the draw at Hearts at Tynecastle and the performance at Motherwell was a really strong performance. So I'm not getting too caught up in it, but like you say, um, to stop getting asked the question, it's important we try and um, get that first win on the road as quickly as possible, but um, it's not it's not the kind of something I'm hung up on at the minute. I just want to make sure we deliver a good performance uh, come Saturday.